Our adventurers traveled nine days in wild space to the rendezvous with Jack Daniels and Kurgan's cap captured tribe. Rushing in, they fended off the Chainmen and their Captain Torgan, before, but not before Jack Daniels and three other Chainmen ships were able to escape. Kurgan met up with his mentor, Green Knight Frederick, and discovered the, in various crates of relics that his tribe were once Gruul, who made a pact with a demon called Rakdos. There was also a rusty metal canister attached by a hose to a glove, with a number 11 on it. Jay noticed, while tying up his captors, captors, or captives, that they began to convulse and die, leaving little clues other than red paint and le a letter E stencil and a coin for a free beer at the Rampant Lion. What will our adventurers do next? And will it involve du the Dungeon Master throwing away all his prepared notes? Only time will tell. And that's pretty much where we left you off is on the asteroid. Oh, and with the two dead chain men, Kurgan's What tribe. do you mean? Are you saying you didn't plan for us to want to teleport ourselves onto Jack Daniel's ship? <laughs> you could do it. Yeah, I had I had that prepared actually. I had that map ready to go if you if you needed it. A yeah. likely story. Yeah, but then it was like, hey, uh, you would know that he'd have like forty people on there. That wasn't the issue. The 40 people wasn't the issue. Yeah. Just the Jay. randomly being teleported into space. That was the issue. Mm. Uh, Maybe to you. I guess. Um, you know, I'll uh, look over these bodies. These bodies have anything cool on them? Or um, did, they got, is that how we found the coin? They have chain mail and a long sword. The sword that the main guy had Torgan. It was magical at some point, but it seemed to dissipate as soon as he died. But he has also chain mail. Guys, he has a magic dissolving sword. I think that's gone for now. Um oh. hey, uh, Lee, you don't seem to have any uh armor. You okay with wearing a dead man's? Yeah, of course. I could do that. You said that a little too quickly. How how comfortable are you wearing dead man's clothes? Uh, you know, it just how often am I gonna get armor? And I, I need some, right? If I'm gonna be in the front. If I'm gonna be a meat shield, need some armor. So take one off a fellow meat shield, I guess. True. I do lack my meat shields to be slightly well protected, so they don't just fall over immediately like toast. See, I'm only thinking of you. And I appreciate that. So, you you have two long swords and two chain mail out of the guys that you you've killed that are, are able to be used. Why don't you just dual wield long swords with your with your like electric trident thing there, and wear two sets of chain mail? That's why you're double protected. <laughs> Isn't that how that works? <laughs> There's a rule where you can't stack things in D and D. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I'm a math magician. Gotcha. Uh, I, I don't will... think that's how the words work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a math wizard. Is that it? That works, yeah. Ma a math wiz. That, that, that'll work. Well, I'll at least take some chain mail. Okay. You You're taking, are... like, half of it? <laughs> <laughs> I think for now, I'm just going to take... Take one, one unit, one unit of chain mail. All right, you you take the the bigger guy. It fits a little bit better on you, and you you get put it on. It could you know need a little adjustment, but overall it'll work. Okay. Uh, Jay will pick up one of the long swords, throw it in his hand, and then drop it. Not his style of weaponry. Okay. So what are you gonna do with these people here? Uh, well, it looks point? like we have an extra ship. Uh, what are you guys thinking about that? Looking at that uh, ship, can I tell, like, 
from eyeballing it, what the difference is between ours and this one's? Sure. Investigation, please. Oh, you, you really should have someone be decent at this in this party. We have zero people decent at this in this party. Ooh, a flat ten. Okay, so you can tell the difference between a major and a minor helm because you have one on your ship. And this just has a minor helm. You look around, it seems like the whole inside was stripped out to allow max capacity to put things in. And so it's par pretty bare-boned. Do I see any fun things in here? You do find about 10 of the ballistas with test tethers uh, on, right next to the ballista. Ooh. Okay, and those... I'm going to... Can I take those so that we can use it on our ship? You can. It's going to be a while for you to lug these pretty huge uh, bolts with the, the rope. So... Um, I'll be fine. I'm strong like a yep. bull, right? Okay. You, it takes you a while, and for 10, it takes you about maybe 10 minutes to to take each one. So I'm talking about uh, an hour, what, 40 minutes. Yeah, I'll ask uh, Kurgan to help with this okay. as well. Okay, that, that halves it right there. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Jane, Kurgan, what'd you find over there? Those, um... Feathers that the pirates keep on shooting at us. You found a bunch of arrows with ropes on them? What about on the ship? Anything else you find neat there? Um, nope. That's it. It also hmm. didn't have a major helm. I think it might have been dragged by the ship or something. Minor helm doesn't really move it much. <laughs> so what are you going to do with uh, these these people? Would you like to get onto this ship here, guys? Maybe like slipstream behind us. We okay. can like sort of slingshot you to where you're from. I think that's how it works. I'm not a space sorcerer. Well, someone needs to uh, have spell slots to to move this thing. I mean, if you give me an hour, I can move that thing. Okay. All right, Jimmy. It's your turn. It's your time. Timmy's good, but well, who steps out is Blake. Blake comes out of the ship and says, you know what? Me and Oren, I can fly this ship. You have spell slots? You've had spells this entire time and you haven't used them once? Have I knew you were useless. How did you find me for the first time? What was I doing? I, I honestly cannot remember. That yeah. actually explains so much. You yeah. do, of course you have spells. Yeah. You guys not mentioned this to me? Yeah. Uh, my spells uh, are mainly for disguise and deception. If you get my drift. Got it, um, so you're a real shit wizard then. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, you know what? I could take these people uh, to whatever place that was called Kaharin, you said? I can take them there. Can you go somewhere else afterwards, or...? I plan to go as far away from you as possible. Just just make a note, you know? You don't have to be rude about it, man. I appreciate it. I do appreciate um, you helping me out, but I, I, I can take this. Don't worry, I didn't do it for you. I did it for your lady. Yeah, well, then you did it for me. We both have the same That's objective. That's disgusting. You don't own her. I don't, but anything that is good for her is good for me. What year is it in uh, in our campaign? What's the? It depends on what sphere do? you're in. <laughs> um, this is spear spear. You can't just claim you <laughs> own this woman. <laughs> this woman, it, I don't own her. She's she's my better half. But she was a slight you monster. No, she was captured and, and sold off. Jeez, I really appreciate you listening to my backstory a little bit more, please. Uh. Yeah, whatever you say, Derek. Uh, anyways, back to the others here. Uh, we have this coin. You want to get a free drink from uh, this 
in here, which I totally remember, and I'm about to say. Rampant yes, Lion. The rampant Lion. That's the one, Rampant Lion. You guys stole the words right out of my mouth. How'd you guys figure out? You guys, like, we said we said the same thing at the same time. It's almost as if we're eating each other's sandwiches. No, I did that wrong. Close, though. All uh, right. By the way, before Blake leaves, I will yes. pull him aside uh, just for a little while and say, um, letting you know uh, that though Kaharan isn't the best place, not by a long shot, but it's a decent place to settle down. Uh, and he looks at you in the eye and he says, I can't thank you enough for getting me off that planet <laughs> and saving Orin. I owe you a lot. And whenever you come back to Kaharan, please look me up and or let me know and I will definitely repay you tenfold. Thank you. And he starts leading Orin and wait, 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 tribe on uh, hey, uh, Blake, before you go, make sure when you get there, you tell him you're a good friend of Kragar. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I take any <laughs> advice you give me, Tex. Or... They'll, they'll <laughs> really appreciate that. I'm just saying, it's just about us being a good friend as me. Blake takes... Jay a... is viciously shaking his head behind Tex. Blake takes out a coin, flips it towards you, Tex. And says, here, buy another drink at the Rampant Lion for me. And, and ducks into the boat. Uh, into the ship. Wait, does this coin also have a Rampant Lion tote thing no, on there? it's a gold piece. Oh, well, alright, thank you, I will. Alright. I don't know why he gave me that. I always treated him like shit. <laughs> While you treated him like shit, he, uh, he does appreciate anybody who get him out of that situation. That's right. It was all me. <laughs> Only Tex. Uh, <laughs> I think it's time to promote Timmy to Right Ballista Crew. Because Blake was one of the people on Right Ballista. Is honestly, anyone not He could also okay? potentially be useful on uh, the Minor Helm. He's uh, able to cast spells. So you see Toak, and he's he comes up to you and says, I don't want to do uh, the minor helm anymore. I think Timmy should do it. Okay. Can um, I need you to do a perception, Jay. Okay. There. 12. You see, like, a shimmering light around Toak. Something that seems odd about the visage of Toak. Um, I'm going to throw a dart, right? Tawak and Timmy are about, like, are they, is there a vast difference in height there? No, they're, they're about the same height. Okay, and Tawak has a hat, correct? Correct. I'm gonna throw a dart through Tawak's hat. Okay. You roll, roll to hit. Okay. 18. Goes right through the hat, about leaving a mark, and Toak turns and runs and screams like a little kid. Guys, um, so I know uh, I told you guys I think maybe that Timmy's been studying magic. Well, I think he's used his first spell, guys! And as he runs down the, the, the stairs, up walks Toak, and he does like a double take back. He's like, what? What the hell? Don't worry, that's just, um, that's Timmy. Um, uh, by the way, Tawak, uh, are you okay with being on the minor helm? Yeah. More, or do you want something else to do? No, I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I do have to do more studying and of the book and also the machine that you see in front. It's, tr I'm trying to get it to attune the frequency of the arcane power of the, the, the crescentabum and so we can locate the next artifact okay so you hear belanac over the it's not intercom but it's more in your head here we need to fix the ship also we need to find an archmage. 
Plus, we need to find the rest of Turgan's people in the only place that I can think we can do all of these or find clues to some of these is at the Rock of Brawl. Uh, quick question. I feel like I'm missing something. Why do yes. we need to find an Archmage? The Book of Shar that we found is too complicated. And if it is what we think it is about the Shadow Weave, we need to discover what is in this book. And only someone of Archmage status can read this and formulate what it says. Okay. Uh, the Rock of Brawl, you said? Because <clears throat> I've heard of the Rock of Gia Brawl Alter. Never is heard any of chance that one. related? No. Never heard of that one? The Rock of Brawl is a floating island. It's mainly the biggest port in all of wild space. So you'd say it connects two large spaces together? It sits in the, the middle of gray space and realm space, two of the most populated places in wild space. It's great for merchants and pirates. Hey, Belenac, do you have any uh, documents referring to the Rampant Lion Inn? Tavern? I am an ancient dragon. I do not usually go to taverns. It it doesn't quite fit me. You get it? <laughs> fit me. <laughs> oh man, I'm good. All right. A goddamn Tic Tac can could probably fit you right now. Actually, I'm not sure how big your core is, but yes, I get what you're saying. That was actually a pretty good one. I have to admit, as much as I don't like to, damn you floating pirate island now you're i well, think talking I my language but you're talking more about a language of one particular guy who i cannot stand <laughs> that dastardly jack daniels he, he i think i know where we're going boys we will definitely find saying? some clues to him there it... well why didn't you lead with that god damn it let's go already Okay, so I think it might eventually connect. It's going to take 12,000 miles a day if you burn one spell slot. This direction seems vaguely nice. Okay. Problem is we don't really we can't really tell the path, so we're Yeah, you're going to give me one day, so 12,000 miles. Here ish. Good. Move it. What if we have more more spell slots? How does it yep. increase from there? 500 miles an hour for each spell slot. All right, I was going to say 12,000 because I can't do the math. Well, it'd be like do I need to be using spell slots right now, or are they basically just going to be replenishing after the day, essentially? Long rest? I'll be resting the other... Well, what I was meaning is I'll be using the... I'll be long resting when he's not... or when I'm not on it. Exactly. Presumably. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. So I. Mm, I'll shut up. I don't but, want to say some nonsense. All right. So who's I, going first? How many spell slots? Twelve hours. What do you got? Who's going? Or, or I go second because I have. I didn't have many spell slots left. I I can go first, but I need a short rest. All I don't right. have many key points. You guys can rest on this island and and rest up. That, mm -hmm. uh, on the if, we're short, if we're short resting, yeah, you can short if we're rest. short resting. Then boom, ooh, time for fun. I get seven key points. All right, short rest done. Unless anybody wants something to d do other than short rest while he's resting. Right. I would like a long rest. Okay, <laughs> you're re you're Eight. sleeping. Hats over your eyes. Okay. So, how many key points are you putting in for 12 hours? Uh, for 12 hours, because I need key points to slow down, I'll put in three key points. Alright, so three. So it's 15, 15, 100 times 12. You're going 22,500. 
So go ahead and I will reveal. Which way are you going? You got 22,500 miles. So right, there. Right there. I'll, I'll mark it. Right there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. There. Um, yeah. I'm it. There you go. Okay. So I can't move. Yep. Okay, so you're, I don't know who has control of the piece here. I got it. You, you're done. You're you're tired. You got. You have to take a nap. And Jay is exhausted. He goes down to and nearly passes out. Who else is in the helm? I'll go ahead and take over. Okay. How many spell slots are you doing? Uh. Go ahead. We'll just keep it up with the three. All right, twenty-two thousand five hundred. And we're just following the red line, I assume. I you're uh, on, basically. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't know how to. Yeah, I'll just whoever's doing the blue do that. I don't know how to do the multiple points. Uh, what you have to do is you have to right click while holding down left click. Each right click gives you a multiple point. Okay. Okay, thank you. That's 24 hours. You lost four. You had to slow down, so you lost some key points or spells there. So pretty much two spells. So Thyros, you are extremely exhausted. You go downstairs. You head hits the pillow, and you are out. out. And then you. Wake up, and it's dark all around you, and you hear wolves oh, yeah, in the thing. distance. This goddamn Castlevania music. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm going old school. Okay. Castlevania. You wake up, and it's entire. You, you feel well rested. You wake up, and it, but it's pitch black. What are you gonna do? Uh. Let me see, do I have... I don't have light. I should probably get that. Uh, I guess I'll just... Start wandering. Okay, you're laying down. Oh, I'm laying down, okay. Yep. Sorry. You're laying down. Um... Wait, I have dark vision. Can I still not see? You still cannot see. Okay, cool. Figured that. Um... So if I'm laying down, I'd like to get up and you hit walk. your head on something oh. <laughs> hard as soon as you try to get up, like something would. Uh. Okay. Um, uh oh. I would like to hit the thing. Give me a strength check. All right. That's. I don't know why it was an advantage. That's an 18. Okay. You hand punches through whatever is in front of you and you hear a splintering of wood and dirt starts to fall in and start filling up whatever is around you. Oh, uh, that's great. Um, uh, huh. It sounds like this is a, uh, Kill Bill Part 2 buried alive situation. Dig your way out. I haven't even seen Kill Bill. I do need to watch that. Uh, but yeah, probably. I guess I'll just try. Alright, straight Thinking. checks again if you want to. Yeah, I don't know what else I would do. Yeah. That's a nice one. Okay, it shatters. The whole coffin just like breaks open and you can see a hint of moonlight before dirt swallows it up and it gets in your mouth and your nose and you're kind of suffocating in this dirt as it's filling up around you. Okay. Um, I'd like to try and like just climb out, like dig, climb, get One, out of it. One more strength check. One more strength check. All right. 
You, That's you, a nine. The, the pressure of this dirt is enveloping you and you're coughing and you can't breathe. It's, it's beginning to, you're beginning to feel faint and panic starts to, to seep into your like psyche and you're getting super nervous. Give me another strength check. Random question. Can I see him? Nine. Uh, no. Can I see him during this? I didn't think so, but no. I was worth a shot. Nine. You are oh, beginning to lose consciousness here as the dirt is beginning to enter your nose and, and down your throat and you're swallowing it. You're trying to find some type of air. One more strength check. Don't die. 14. 14. You reach up and you find enough room to where your hand breaks free from the dirt and onto the top of the ground and you push with all your might and your head sticks out of the ground and you're coughing up this dirt and vomiting this mud ick and this like like phlegm from your nose has just got dirt all in it as you start coughing up all right you turn and you look up as more dirt gets thrown in your face and you see an older man in about 70-ish of age and he looks at you and he goes champion of Kelimvor seek me out in the cemetery of Brawl you have been called and from there you wake up and you're wide awake in your bed. Okay. Well then. Uh, that was an experience that I would like to never happen again. Okay. You look around, uh, no one sees you. You're sl you're alone in the in the cabin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jay, you're up. Oh, no. You're wide awake now. Dyrus took over. Now what do you want Dyrus to do? Dyrus is having a nice sleep, nah. looking yep. perfectly calm. Yep. Um, before I got on the um, helm, I'd like to uh, give a quick beaming out into the darkness and try and contact Tanner Luxley real quick. Okay. So, you reach out and start um, meditating and you start slipping into the most deepest meditative state that you've ever been in. You see yourself in a gaseous land with no floor is just sweeping of different moldy colored gas all around you and you keep walking and walking and you hear who goes there i can feel you come closer Ooh. I'm going to steal myself, and um, I'm going to now actively try and make my steps quieter, but I'll still head to wherever that voice is. Okay, so why don't you roll a um, stealth check for me, please? Man, I hate this. This, uh, there. Natural 20 for oh. 27. Okay. So <laughs> Man, Jesus Christ, we're really guys. good at calm rolling. down. Say those natural twenties for like when we need them. We're really good at rolling in our dreams. <laughs> you, you, the gas kind of parts, and you see this dark figure looming, and the, it is a huge dragon with golden skin. But this dragon looks different. It stands on two legs. Its face is flattened and broad. Its 
mouth is like a human in horns that curve upward. It has monstrous wings. I cannot see you. You walk quietly. Approach. Do not be afraid. I will. Still approaching, but I'm still not making the sound. Okay. Um, until I get relatively close. Okay. I'm. And I will. If you rolled a natural twenty, I'm gonna do a perception check here. This is gonna be a plus ten on this thing. <laughs> With disadvantage. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, sure. Just sure. Just one okay. better than my Dis- natural. Disadvantage. Because you rolled it. All right. Fourteen. Okay. All right. So, very quiet. I'm here for you, my boys. You Thank walk. You. you walk up, and well, it is a natural twenty. I respect that. Um, and you walk up close to it, and it's looking in the opposite direction from you. And how? So, you are. Tell me how close you want to get to this thing. Um. So this thing's what, like 50 feet tall, 30 feet tall? Probably like 70 feet tall. Um, I'll get within like, how far am I away from it right now? As far as you want, you're stealth, you can decide. Okay, I'm going to get to like 40 feet away from it. Okay. And, and, and then stop and say, I'm not afraid, I'm cautious. What are you doing in the meditative realm? This has been a very lonely, lonely time. And I finally feel another presence. It's good to have someone here. Uh, well, I... Pleased to meet you. I'm a J. I do not have a name. I'm sorry. My name was taken from me. Would you mind if I give you a name? Please. What name would you give me? So this thing is golden, right? Hmm. Golden. Golden rod. (laughs) Hmm. Hold on, I think I have a good name somewhere. Hold on, uh, it's ah, there it Gold is. Gold member. Um, I um, how do you feel about Ivrin? I like that. I will keep that. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you, Ivrin. Um, to good be to fair. Have someone here. Uh, to be fair, I didn't mean to come here. I was reaching out to a friend of mine. Well, please visit again at any time. I can use the company. Uh, I will if I can. What is this room that I'm in, by the way? The It is not a room. It is like a land of just gas. You're floating. You can't see the floor. There's no walls. There's just endless just... Your vision is uh, obscured by this gaseous form. You can probably see, you know, 60 feet before it gets so dense you can't see anything. But every once in a while, it'll clear up, and you can see a little bit further. Okay. Have I, like, heard of this from my old masters of this realm? You can do a, um, history check. Oh, I'm so good at those. You know this is how I know about Mind Flayers. Four. Four. No, you have not heard anything of the meditative plane or realm. Um, 
This is quite a place. I Are you trapped here? I am. An evil sorcerer has trapped me here. Oh. I cannot leave. Can I insight check that, an evil sorcerer? You certainly can, but it will be at disadvantage. Mm, you know, I think I'm gonna get a natural one and believe the hell out of this guy. Uh, man, my, my sheet is just broken. I need to reload eventually. Alright. 16. Okay. You, you cannot read this. You can, he's telling the truth from what you can see. Ah, uh, well, is there a way to get you out then? I do not know. I do not know. I have been here, but for so long it feels like time has slowed down. It, then the fog begins to clear, and you open your eyes, and you see Trowman coming in, and he goes, Oh, I'm sorry, I did not mean to disturb you, but I knew you'd probably be hungry. And so I wanted to make you some food. Oh, um, thank you. Am I like now out of you this are, plane? He he broke you out of your plane. <laughs> oh, the hell! And Jay just like does the slow turn of looking around, like what just happened? <laughs> okay. So, there's some food, it's steaming, it's dumplings that he's made, and Chowman puts it in front of you and he also wants to say, um, this is the 10th day and we ran through 10 of our barrels of food for everybody, but now that some of our guests have left, um, we'll be alright, but how many barrels of food do we have? 12-ish, don't quote me on that. Okay, we'll give you 12. And so we're down to two barrels, which is about two days worth of food. Well, we could we could stretch it to make it at four. But we're going like to need to get some four. food. need to get some food real soon. Okay. okay um, all right, uh, sure, man. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. And he leaves. And he goes to each one of you, Tex, Lee, Dyros, Gives everybody some food, and then Toak is going into the helm, and he is going for, it is 500 miles an hour. As you guys see, as you get closer, that you guys know you got to stop for food and air, and what do you guys see but... A is that a flying fucking saucer? It is not. It is a flying fucking bar. And there Yo. is... There is ships all around this thing. Um, there's a massive barge that is on there. It looks like people are uh, taking barrels in, out from the barge and putting it into the bar. There are also... Um, what looks to be motorcycle ships without the wheels all stacked up on the side. Classy. Yeah. Do, do you guys do you guys hear that? Do do you guys hear that? Wait, wait, listen listen close. I'm not sure if you guys hear that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Razor, you're about to get three different copyright claims this <laughs> episode. I know, right? Oh no. Oops, my bad, I forgot about that. I'm not making any money off of my 15 views. I was gonna so say, if they're okay. not added, if they don't have ads on him, he should be fine, but something <laughs> to keep in mind.
future future efforts don't worry we're working on that we're working on the marketing the merchandising yeah uh my mini series of uh yeah. shit tech says it's it's all it's all in the process <laughs> right now we're about to release a shirt that is just that's just a list of all the text puns that he has said this campaign exactly so what are you guys doing are we going to the space bar oh hell yeah tex is going to the space bar well obviously we're going to space bar okay there's nothing that screams more text than space bar. Okay. And I'm not talking about the keyboard. Uh... <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this place, as you get closer, is called Cartania's Canteen. Oh, well, we're obviously coming back here. It has such a good name. You pull up... Cartania's Canteen? Cartania's Canteen. C-A-R-T... A N I A apostrophe S canteen. You also, as you come closer to your ship, there's a place to dock and go into each uh, into the bar. There's you pull up to the side, and I need to roll your best wing person to edge in there nicely with a fifteen. Strength. Um, I'm pretty sure Kyrgyz our best edger. Uh, all right. Yeah. Somebody want to roll that or? Yeah. Uh, I can do it. Yeah, Thyro. Thyro yeah, just you do, do that. It. Just do it. Because Thyros. I don't want to be here when this thing goes down. That's a 19. Right back. That's a 19. He's like, yeah. Beautiful. Thyros edges it in like it's nothing. The the ship docks perfectly to the side of this bar and you walk in let's get you wait 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 wait, wait. We, wait before we just walk in i'm gonna motion to lee and be like hey you and me follow me this is our time this is our opportunity we gotta make the lead entrance on this space bar okay first thing you see is a and sign we kick open the door that says no weapons allowed absolutely <laughs> I transform my uh, gun into a raven. Okay. All right. What I about mean, I guess I'll put my stuff back in the ship. I'll be like, uh, BRB, I guess. So a couple things I want to know is, are you bringing weapons? Are you... Where, what armor are you going to wear? And I'm going to, like, I'm going to leave my normal armor on and still have my shield. Okay. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do Get I leave my shield? Keep the shield. Keep the shield. Keep the shield. But then it looks sus to have a shield if it's no weapons. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, you're allowed to have a condom and not a dagger, you know, because you're wearing protection. Mm, some Captain America <laughs> would, my best. would definitely argue with this. That is, yeah. Yeah, but is Captain American in our space bar right now? Because if he's in you our space know. bar, he's the one I want to talk know. to right now. I mean, I mean, look Texas at this still ship. just barging in. He's kicking the look door at down. This, no what. Look at look at this bar. From what we see, this could just be Captain America's shield. Could be. Yeah, come on. Be. You're probably right. It can I can neither confirm nor deny this is the first iteration of Captain America's shield. <laughs> so what are you bringing? Tyros, what are you wearing? Bringing? Uh, definitely still wearing my chainmail because, like, you know, it's under everything, so okay. it doesn't look yep. like much. Um, shield. All right, all right, all right. I got this. Uh, under ten, spring or over ten, bring the shield. Under ten, don't bring the shield. Okay. All right. He's I guess I'm bringing the shield. shield. Okay. But it's gonna be like slung around my back if I have like okay. a little sling for it. Like, I'm not going to be holding it. It's going to be, like, casually just left there. All right. So, uh, Leatherface, what are you bringing? Um, I think I'll leave all my weapons. Just okay. bring my fist. What if you just bring your trident and say it's a giant fork? Say it's a giant fork. I bet I could. I bet Tex could pull it off for you. Be like, nah, this is just a giant fork for him. It's and this whip here, it's just kinky. It's just kinky. This is just a giant so, fork that shoots electricity. Don't worry about yeah. it. And if they say no, I can just put it back and then go back in. 
Exactly. Sure. Okay. I mean, we'll I'll attempt that. to I'll attempt to bring my big walking stick, but other than that, no, I won't bring anything. Uh, okay. We have no weapons on us, guys. Are you gonna allow any of your uh, crewmate to join you? Um. I'm not gonna force hey, listen, them. Listen, guys. How how big do I want Operation Meat Shield to be in this situation? I won't force anything except Timmy stays on the boat. Oh. Hmm. They're, Actually, they're... that's probably a good point. We probably shouldn't have Timmy come aboard. He's quite young still. Even though I, I, I don't think they'll even allow him in. Perception check. Uh, well, I mean, Jay. Perception. Man, this freaking this is dumb. Twenty. You see out of the corner of your eye, Timmy gives you two fingers and stalks off. Stalks off below deck? Yeah. Um, I mean, you didn't need to be that. He could be whatever. I'm sure there's a different setting for age in whatever time we are in. What is their relative time? You know what? Never mind. I don't understand <laughs> that whole philosophy. Uh, but, all right. So I'm leaving my daggers. Uh, you bring your electric fork. Uh, I'll bring my whip because you know, as I said, it's it's not for fighting; it's for loving. Uh, Thyros, you got your shield. Jay, you got your big old stick because I mean, you're a unsturdy old man. Uh, Kurgan, you know what? You can just stay on the ship. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kurgan's yeah, Kurgan's tired and and thinking about mm -hmm. his people. Uh, who else? Do we need to bring anyone else? Uh, Rockard, how sharp are your teeth? I am. I could definitely use a steak if they have any raw. Would be grip even better. But could we potentially have you like keep your mouth closed while we're in there, and have you potentially just jump out and bite people if we need you? Would you be down for that? He shakes his head like, "Yes, sure, yes, for sure, I can." But I'm know, gonna look. He says, "Actually, mm -hmm. I can." I'm gonna look back to the party. What do we think about that? Eh? Uh, eh? Yes? No? I think that'll be okay. Um, come aboard? Or you uh, else all okay? Um, they would like to come on board and, and, and partake in the fun. They, they've been on the ship for a while and yeah, it's been like. Two I mean, we weeks give them their four gold, uh, yeah, four gold a and month they want you know, a freaking, payment. So yeah, like, they're ready to party, man. Yeah, oh, no. Uh, we just need a couple of you guys to stay back. Uh, whoever does will get one additional extra gold. Uh, and guaranteed next time. Not ever. Not anyone who does. The ne the three who do, uh, will get one additional extra gold. The others will be able to, you know, come along with us as just additional security, as well as, you know. Uh, just to make our posse look more intimidating. maiden. Yep. Since Toak was the last to get here, he is exhausted and sleeping it off. Dresden's not leaving the Belenac. Timmy went down the stairs. Trowman doesn't really want to go. He's not all about that. So... <laughs> Best security we have on our ship. Yeah. Uh, and, so yeah, and, two more and, of them have to stay behind Kier, if they Kier, want. Kurgan is there as well. Okay. One so, more has to stay behind. I would well, say. Well, it's up to you. Who do you want to? Who do you want to leave? I mean, I can mm. stay behind. I feel like my trident won't get in anyway. No. 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 Lee, we need you. We need you. <laughs> Look at you. Look at that intimidating frame you have won't there. It, but won't it You're gonna be the suspicion. Want to arouse some yeah. suspicion? My face is all deformed. This is a bar. This is a bar. You think they're going to turn away any good coin here? Nah, 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 nah. Listen to me. Listen to me and listen to you. And I am a charismatic man. A charismatic gentleman, as many would say. Um, don't listen to Jane Kerrigan's thoughts there. But, um, no, we will get you in there. And again, we might just, you might not be able to bring your fork in there, but at the same time, I think we're being plenty reasonable. And we, I, I think we would need you in case of an event that a bar, uh, brawl broke out. I think you are at the forefront of Operation Meat Shield. In fact, okay. some would consider you one of the key players here. What? Well, I've never been a key player before in my life. It is an honor <laughs> okay. to be a key player in Operation Meat Shield. <laughs> 
Simple. I know you love meats, and I know you love shields, and I love I love that you like being keys too. Civil comes up and she's like, "This isn't really my scene. Um, if it's something a little bit more not bar scene, I'll I'll enjoy it. Actually, I more enjoy walking in the woods and stuff like that. So I'll pass here and I'll stay behind. Of course, little lady of the forest. I figured as much from your particular." Um, is this weird of me to say not like totally jacked, uh, you know, I don't think you can end like, that you sentence you pretty... in any good way. Uh, yes. it's whatever, but I'm just saying like, no, you seem like more of a, uh, a uh, covert operative in more of a coercer rather than a, uh, guns blazing sort of situation. I'll, I'll take the extra gold and, and, and I'll, and I'll, I'll flip that shirt. extra gold that Blake gave me to her. Excellent. Done. Okay, so are you guys heading into the bar? Yep. Okay. We're heading into the... Space bar. Space so. bar! <laughs> oh, we're headed into the... <laughs> space bar. Okay. So there is an upstairs and downstairs. The gravity plane cuts it in half. So you're actually standing on the floor or the ceiling of the floor above you. And the downstairs is a casino-like atmosphere, and the top is more of a concert hall or bar scene. So you have two different areas that you can go down. Which area do you want to go to? Bar. I'm gonna, wait, wait, I'm gonna talk to the group here real quick. Hey, uh, Jay, you could attempt to not you sorry sorry you just uh, um you uh you could attempt to do one of our old uh, our old tricks where we have the old uh one of those what some people would call a scheme other would call a uh ingenious use of sleight of hand uh situation down in the casino maybe if i made enough of a distraction upstairs in the bar scene the question is uh lee how dexterous do you feel you are with uh playing tricks amongst others potentially I th um you want to answer that ash <laughs> you can answer that if you <laughs> i think on a as as a dexterous person myself i think i'd give them a f 7 out of 10 or a 14 out of 20 if you will <laughs> Honestly, ain't too bad. Not as dexterous as myself, but still not too bad. I'm for certain more than uh, old Iron Boots over there, and I make a little thumb gesture towards Thyros. But I think he could help me out in potentially uh, winning over some of the crowd, and perhaps persuading them in the uh, bar scene. What do you? Uh, but the question is, which which do you think has the more valuable targets? Is the wrong word, but I'm gonna say targets anyways. Uh, as he's doing this, can I look around? Can I tell if there are any, like, bouncers? Go ahead and, it... and roll a perception for me. Okay, and if they're obvious, I'm just curious of, like, how beefy uh, uh, do uh, they look. If possible, I would like to help him out with that. It's oh. okay, he's, he, he <laughs> made it. it. It's good. So, you see a Dracon. This, a Dracon is a... It's like a centaur, but think of a dinosaur. So its head is a brontosaurus. And he's a huge. And he's looking around, and his head can duck into corridors and around. And he comes close, his head comes over, and he sees you. And it kind of moves in your direction like a snake on his body, which is so big, it's, he's actually sitting down next to the front door of, of the bar that can go either up or down. And he goes, there are absolutely no weapons allowed. And he looks at your whip. It's like, you're gonna have to put that away if you wanna come in. Is he, is he talking to me here? Yes. Uh, you see this, sir? This isn't a whip for fighting. It's a whip for loving. 
if you know what I'm saying. And I would love for you to put that back on the ship. Do you not have a Fair weapon? enough. Hey, uh, who's okay. closest to me? Okay, uh, probably. You were talking to him earlier. Uh, yeah, you go, you go run this back for me real quick. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Okay. Anything else you can see among us that we're not allowed to have, sir? Um, anybody who is carrying a weapon needs to do a deception check versus my... Wait, how come I didn't have to do a deception check? Because, because it's things a on your side. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right there. It's right there. <laughs> I could deceive him into being a fucking, you know... A... It, yeah, it's a, hey, even as a sex whip, it's still designed to hurt people. <laughs> that yeah, is true, actually. It, I, yeah, okay, fine. Do they not see the giant trident I'm carrying? I was gonna say, yeah, it's a, it's a fork. It is a fork <laughs> for... You are a very <laughs> yeah, avid eater. Happen. You are a member of many eater con... con he looks at the trident and goes, You are going to have to put that on the ship as well. Uh, sir, that's a fork. Our, our friend here is a champion eater. He's a speed eater unlike anyone has ever seen before. Well, he will eat flesh so fast you would not believe it. Yes, I could prove it. I mean, Looks yes. Like you've come, come on, let... to the fork in the road here. Either... Oh, I was gonna say, at least let me give a deception check here for him. <laughs> no. If you're hiding something, but if it's in plain sight. Does he count my walking stick as it? Oh, what is it? You, you can roll a deception check on that. He'll... <laughs> And that's my deception check. Can I, I roll it for him? I'm trying to leave. I'm hyping him up in the front here. Like, this guy's got a walking stick. You're going to say that's a weapon? This is going to be a plus five for his perception here. So, uh, basically attack. what Jay does is he just raises an eyebrow at him. <laughs> 13. Okay. You, he thinks it's a walking stick. Just let me roll deception once again. Plus seven for this stat for this exact reason, you son of a bitch. I have a minus one, and I almost did as good as you. My uh, my shield doesn't count as a weapon, does it? Um, he looks at it and he goes, "I don't think you're gonna need that shield in here. But if I see you use it as a weapon, I'm gonna throw you into wild space myself." Especially I, I don't. I've never used this as a weapon, and I don't intend to start now. And if I see you swing that stick, it's going to be the same thing that happens to you. Well, I can't help it. My stick's kind of massive. Whenever I turn it, sort of swings. Oh, not would, me. Oh, my God. I would like to, uh... uh I was going to say something. I was like, just try and smack him or something, but I was like, no, nah, I don't want to hurt him. Never mind. He is frail, boy. Okay, you guys can walk in. You walk in to upstairs to the bar slash concert hall, or downstairs to the um, casino. Knowing Tex, we have to keep him away from the casino. Yeah. Um. By what the way, talking about, I will um personally not for the crew, um because the crew don't really have much money. So they can gamble their like four gold away all they care. Yep. Um, but I will limit that if anyone sees someone do anything stupid with an amount of gold and gamble, I will personally bonk them upside the head and cause a disturbance to get us both kicked out. They actually don't want to gamble. They want to just drink and at the bar. That's okay. that's pretty much what they want to do. All so right. any of y'all want to play some poker? <laughs> <laughs> so they, they're they looking to get some drinks and maybe listen to some music and enjoy themselves a little bit. Okay, uh, Tex, don't bet anything more than 50 gold. So I want to bet 51 gold. You're you not go, my mom. You going down? Okay, so who's going where? Uh, Jay will keep an eye on Tex. All right, Tex, where are you going? Uh, uh, that's a good question. Part of me wanna goes upstairs just to, you know, like perform and do music stuff. The other half wants to go downstairs to gamble all my life savings away. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll do the old, Jesus, dogs running back and forth. It's all good. What are you doing? 
I'm going upstairs to play some music stuff. Okay. You walk up, and there's the bar there, and there's a man dressed nicely, um, tending bar. There's also a woman that is very strange. You've never seen a woman like this. Um, she's got blue-gray skin, and she has these crystals that are attached to her scalp. And she's also tending bar, and she's also barking orders to people. There's these workers that are carrying barrels around to the back, and she's yelling, hey, don't hit that. Don't, be careful over there. That's, that's, I just bought that. And they're, they're apologizing and moving these barrels back and forth. And um, there's also a bunch of what you could consider like bikers with these leather jackets with X's on it. There's looks to be a bunch of teenagers, very young people with dreadlocked hair that are all around. And another table has um, people dressed in all of black with eyeliner on. And they see there's a stage set up to the side um, ready to like for an entertainer to be there. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to walk up to the crystal-headed lady and say, Well, hi there, uh, little ass. I didn't expect to find such a literal diamond in the rough here. She she says, Hi, uh, it's nice to meet you, but she doesn't... She's actually staring straight at Leatherface. And she, like, is locking eyes on Leatherface right now. Just look at her, then look back at Leatherface, and look back at her, and look back at Leatherface, sort of like, you know, switching between myself, sort of like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Can she I get should. like an insight on what the hell she's talking about, what she's looking at, sure. why she's looking at roll him? insight. Go ahead. Yo, I'll also roll insight, check this woman out. Okay. I mean, it might just be the horrible 25 what what are you inciting here what what are you kind of what she what's she looking into leatherface for instead of she, the glorious text like in front of her she recognizes somebody like a familiar face maybe but then she shakes it off visibly shakes it off looks at you and goes oh i'm sorry um tra- lost my train of thought um hi my name's Cartania Bestroy. Um, I, this is my uh, establishment. What can I? Uh, what can I do for you? Ah, the proprietor. It's great to make a contact with a woman so lovely as yourself. Uh, my name is Tex Bootstrap, leader of the Texas Gang. Uh, well, that's we don't that's allow gangs yes, or it. any fighting, so. Don't it's eat. just what we call ourselves. It's not like an actual gang. It's no, come on. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, me and my crew here, we're just sort of uh, wandering around looking for a nice drink and some food to eat and possible yeah. some good amenities and comforts. Of course, and that's what I we're was here wondering for. Perhaps we can maybe get a, a little discount. I could perform on your stage there for you. And she um, sees but I have loot. noticed you. She points to a sign that says, No stairway to the outer plane or free griffin. She said, <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> okay. And she says, um, Have at it, but I have to tell you, we're waiting on somebody to show up and, uh, and perform. So the stage is yours for now, but just know in a little bit, Huh. There's a uh, there's someone going to perform for us. Well, okay, I'll try not to upstage him too much, but uh, before I immediately head out there, um, I know she was staring at my friend uh, Lee over there oh, quite intently for half a second. Sorry. Uh, yes, you most certainly were. Um, it seemed like you were to... remembering someone or no, something. No, uh, just probably daydreaming. It happens. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take care of this. Wait, she, just a second here. No, I'm not done yet. She breaks yet. free. I still need and my... She breaks free. Come on, at least let me give me like an go. insight here. You can. I'll give you a roll. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll do another one as well. I wonder why she's breaking off. Twenty-two. Yeah, she's hiding something. 
She's 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 hiding. But something. wait, I still have more questions. Do she, you know a man she, named Jack Daniels? I yell she, across the bar. Um, you, per perception, perception, Jay. Does my passive see anything? Um, yeah, you see a couple of people stiffen up and quickly look over before some of the bikers, and then quietly go back to their own uh, conversation. And uh, Cartania already left and is following where these men are moving the barrels to the back room. Out of sight. Did, and the bartender comes did, up and uh, like, boys, I heard you're thirsty. What can I get you? Uh, cuter waitress. Uh, uh, anyways, um, yeah, uh, I was asking about a man named Jack Daniels, and I was going to perform a little bit. Well, I don't know that, but I can offer you a stiff drink. Um, Bullshit. I saw at least four people move out of the corner of my eye there. Well, you can go talk yeah, to four people. Yeah, I was got something I, here. I, you can talk to four people. I don't <sighs> care. Um, I'm just here to, you know, provide sustenance. What do you need? Bye. Double whiskey on the rocks. Uh, hold okay. the uh, icebergs and then give me a triple whiskey. All right. That'll be three gold. Deal. All right, three gold. All right, next, who's up? What do What do you need? What do you need? Come on, go have all day here. Let's go. Uh, uh, Jay will um, before can we say that before we got into this, Jay asked Tex for like twenty gold, so he had money <laughs> to spend here. Oh yes, uh, Tex would have given you twenty gold. I would take it from the ship storage. Okay, got it. Um, uh, Jay I'll will then... that off. Give me a second. Uh, Jay will then hand him uh, the bartender 10 gold. Okay. And say, uh, sorry about him. I'll just have a water. A water? You got it. Double water. Coming up. And he passes you the water. Anything, anybody else? Leatherface, what do you want? Does Leatherface even have money at this point? Or am I just a walking meat shield? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you get, you get paid. You, you Actually, get paid. real quick, as soon as Tex would have walked away from uh, the bar there, he would have said, uh, Letterface, um, that crystal woman he would have n seemed to have known you from somewhere. Oh, I didn't recognize her. Do you think I should go try to track her down? Hats more on you there, but she seemed to have known you. She might, You might not recognize her, but she seemed to have known you. Um... I'm not sure what you want to do. Here, take take five gold here, and he's going to flip five gold into your hand. Um, I don't know. It's up to you if you want to play it small and smooth or big and loud. But that's you got to make that call yourself. Well, it depends. Did she look annoyed? Because uh, in a past life, I might have eaten her husband or something. Uh, Did she look annoyed? No, I don't know if she looked no, annoyed she or not. looked like... You, she recognized you. That's it. Uh, she just looked like she recognized you. I don't. I couldn't quite make out whether she looked annoyed, uh, happy, uh, horny, or hungry. It was one of those emotions. Um, Always tough to discern between those. Yeah, women. Am I right? Uh, uh, tell me. I mean, she might have just been horny for some food. Hungry. Yeah. My face doesn't look that response. Who was the other day? Yeah, the phrase? I don't know. It was exactly, yes, that was exactly the phrase I used for our other campaign. But, um, yes, uh, all right, well, you, you do, you decide what you want here. Yeah, and you take this five gold, use it to whatever your needs are. I'm sure you need to get a drink or something. You helped out a lot, at least securing that, uh, those people, and with, uh, us escaping from that horrible, horrible pyramid planet. Uh, but yeah, you, you handle yourself well there. I'm gonna go make my way up to the stage. Me, well, actually I'll make my way to a corner while you guys handle your other things. Okay. Alright, so, so Tex is going to the stage and kind of setting himself up. Leatherface, you got uh, five gold pieces. What are you doing? I think I'm gonna keep them for now. If people are starting to recognize me, I don't want to start drinking and then okay. lose it or something. Okay. You can be up with Jay drinking water. I was about to say that's going to be ten gold water. I don't know what the hell I'll... you're saying. It was it was both an apology and a tip. Rock. I was an apology. I didn't do anything wrong yet. 
Rockard finds a booth and he's like, dude, I, got, I call this booth. All right. And then uh, starts ordering a pitcher with with three of his gold and gets a pitcher and sits down. Him and uh, Tra- uh, Torgon are sitting there together uh, and Morgan. They all pulled their gold together and are just sitting back enjoying themselves uh, in a booth. All right. Okay. And what are you guys doing? Um, Jay... what, what's Thyros doing? He didn't ever said what he was yeah. doing. Oh, yeah. Well, what I'm just going to get some water, too. All right. Um, water game. Drinker. Water's going to co- cost you a gold here. This is space. And, we, you know. Oof. And space water and space water space restrictions. Space water. All right. Yep. Darn. Now I'm at 99 gold. Okay. Oh, oh no. Um, no, I'm just sad it was such a nice number before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, so you Jay, as you're sitting there, you hear some of these uh, teenagers in dreads. They're like, I cannot wait till Glitter Orb shows up. I, this is gonna be awesome. I've been waiting months for this show. Got it. That's interesting. Uh, where'd Cartiana or Cartiana again, please? Uh, she went. Uh, her name is uh, Cartania. Cartania. Cartania, and she went to Cartania. the. She she went out of view, kind of back rooms where the storage rooms. Um, there's a big barge, and people are coming in and out with these barrels, uh, taking empty barrels and bringing them um, out up onto the barge, and then coming back with these wheel barrels and uh, these hand carts and bring full barrels down to the storage room. Hey, oh, oh uh, by the way, uh, bartender, um, what's yeah. your name, by the way? Uh, Simmel. Simmel. Um, quick question, would it be possible to buy just food, but like rations for a party of travelers yeah. here? No, well, you can go to the barge and ask the merchants there, uh, you know, they they do daily rounds going around to all the establishments over in the Flogiston, so in in all these places. You can ask them. They might have some extra, but um, we don't sell by the barrel. That's not how we make our money. We sell, you know, by the by the slice, if you take it. Okay. Thank you. You, got you know it. what? Because because I'm such a generous soul, I'll give him another five gold. Holy cow! I should never have given you that twenty gold. God damn it! You're just it's, wasting it. I need it for bribes and to be a nice person. Okay. So, um, Tex, what are you and, doing? And... I have a plan, but I want to hear what Lee's doing first, personally. Okay. All right, Lee, what are you doing? I'm mostly just skulking around you looking for anyone suspicious, but I didn't recognize uh, Cartania earlier. Okay. Percep- so, uh, so you're going to roll a perception check here. Okay. Okay, 15. Good. Okay, so you're walking around and you do see Cartania off to the side um, checking out a list of items and talking to a man there. And they're discussing what's on this list. Okay. Can I go over and eavesdrop on their conversation? You certainly can. You can, if you're going to eavesdrop, I want you to do a stealth check for me. About to knock over five different barrels. (laughs) Can I see her within my field of view right now? Uh, Perception for... For you, Tex. It's going to be a 15 or higher. <laughs> yes, you can see her. I'm going to give her a see plus him. 1d4 on that stealth check. Okay. Roll it. Oh. Wow, I'm so <laughs> useful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you think you're pretty stealthy, and she's just talking, and you over here. Okay, that's 17 ale, three whiskeys. 14 meat and then they're just seem to be talking about items and checking a list on the items okay okay 
Anything else? Do I? Do I? St- uh, can I? Can I talk to her? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. All right. I um, slowly walk up to her and say, "Hey, I noticed you were staring at me uh, back with my friend over there. Do I know you from somewhere?" So she looks over to the man she was talking to and she said, "Um, just give me a minute." And she, you know, finger gives you a finger wave to come with her off to the side. Still in the bar, but around a corner where it's a little bit more privacy. And do you follow? Yes, I will follow her. Okay, so she goes, you're from Athos, aren't you? Some of your people are, but I know you are. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I know you are. How do you know? Because I was from Athos. And I'm Ganassi. See, I was stuck in a storm, a tear storm, and had, and I had an elemental energy into me. And I can feel this elemental energy in you. And she puts her hands on the side of your forehead. Do you let her? Yes. And your mind goes blank for a second, and then you recover a memory that you thought you lost. You were traveling in the desert of Athos in a tear storm, which is like a hurricane of elemental energy in sand. Um, came upon you and you began to get washed with the sand and tried to find some shelter your animals you were hurting all perished and you thought you were going to die and electricity electricity filled you and lightning started zapping into you and you passed out and she takes her hands off the side of your head and she goes well, you are more than what you seem whoa uh that was a lot yes what All do I, you do with those crystals these crystals are part of me i am half genie half human um though my Genie father does not want anything to do with me. But I was from Athos and I left that place as soon as I fucking could. And I'm glad that you guys, you got off that freaking mad planet. So it's good to see one of my brethren and a couple of more. But enjoy yourself at my canteen. Um, I really must get going and take care of business here, you know. But, uh, Wait, I have a question. Uh, yes. Just one more question. You... Have you seen a man by the name of Jack Daniels around? She laughs and she goes, "Yes, he's he's been here a couple of times. Um, all all their pirate ilk come in every once in a while and spend their coin here. But uh, huh. um, you know, all is welcome in my in my canteen as long yeah. as you are peaceful." Okay, I'll bring that information back to text then. Okay. All right. So, right. text. Well, uh, first and foremost, I'm gonna get up on the uh, the stage for a second. You know, tap the. Is it like a crystal microphone there? How's the whole situation working? Is it, is it just like? No, nope, uh, there's no crystal mic. It's just a stage. It's just like open you. stage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's acoustic uh, night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, hello, uh, hello. All right. What are their names? What are their names? What's the name of this t- canteen again? That's... Cartagena's Canteen! Yes. <laughs> Everybody you are stops about to and be... looks. You hear the crowd. It was like a mingling of people talking and, you know, and then they all stop and they all look in your direction. First and foremost, I'll take my hat off and sort of bow in their direction and slowly place it 
uh, directly in front of me. Well, I hope you're all having a lovely evening. And then I'm going to begin to plot my loot and just start uh, some uh, playing. Uh, I'm going to say how good it is. I'll see how it works first. Oh, nice. 24 on the performance there. Everybody gets up off their feet and starts <laughs> applauding like you wouldn't see. And you're doing the most fantastic performance you feel like you've ever done. You've never had a crowd of this magnitude and... As you start applauding, a group of teenage, the teenage group, starts rushing the front door as a man comes walking down. And they're like, it's Glitter Orb! It's Glitter Orb! And this man with dark hair, flamboyant style of pink nails and glitter on his face. Oh, it's and Disco Ball. I just got it. And he comes in and goes and he starts signing autographs. There's two half orcs bodyguards by him. They're carrying some equipment and wheeling it in and he's walking over towards the bar right now. And the uh can't uh Cartania runs up and you know introduces herself and shakes his hand and he shakes her hand and she slips him an envelope and uh he takes it and puts it in his back, in his jacket and walks up to the bar and orders a drink as the half orcs are keeping these teenagers at bay and a couple of other roadie types are dragging in equipment as you're doing this performance of your life. Sorry, we're just ignoring them. It's going to see like Finny when it throws in the coins in the hat I've placed before we... Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. We'll do... Uh, We'll do. It is sixteen silver pieces worth of various coins. All right, and they toss it to you, and the roadies kind of look at you, and Glitter Orb comes up to you, Tex, at sipping a drink, smiling, and then starts as your song ends claps uh and and he says oh my you're you're a cute one well i appreciate the compliment uh um, i do certainly do but um i'm not familiar with you but you seem to be quite popular with the kiddos over there well not just the kiddos as you look around even the bikers are like looking and cheering on and saying glitter orb so okay. I assume you perhaps met a fair amount of people then. Yeah. I'm, Am I I'm, incorrect in that assumption? Of course. I'm I'm pretty good at, at what I do and entertain the crowd and and you are. Oh, I'm I'm Seagal. Oh. Steven Seagal. Oh, it's um, good, to, good to meet you, Steven. Um, maybe may I, maybe I'll buy you a drink after we perform. But uh, real quick, I just wanted a quick at question. Have you ever heard of a man by the name of Jack Daniels? Um, let me do. Um, he does not. He does not know. Uh, not not offhand. Well, perhaps it's not worth too much then. But either way, um, uh, seems sort of mingling throughout the crowd. I'm eager to hear your performance. Uh, you can join me on stage if you want. I always like dueling banjos. Uh, perhaps that might be a fun situation. But I'll let you perform first and then uh, then we can have a duel of our own. Because it's unfair for one competitor to see the other before the... Okay. You know, make it equal. Okay, so Glitter Orb gets onto the stage and... Everything is getting hushed as he as he plugs in this orb onto the bottom of his loot. And let me bring actually, let me show you glitter orb. Boom boom. Oh yeah. Is it just be David oh Bowie? Oh my god, is it kiss or is it David Bowie? There we go. More kid. And for the first time kiss he Bowie. opens his his music 
And he, let's roll a 1d6. That is two. And that would be the black orb music comes out. And it sounds a little something like this. Oh, man. He's rocking. And... Roll. Everybody roll a fifth. Uh, needs to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh hell! Wait, is there? How close are people to me? Um, if you're, you're, you're all in the sixty foot radius. You are paying attention, so. So is that no? But I was meaning to me for the plus two on their saving throw. Uh, what do you mean? You're by the bar, which is. I'm also a paladin, bar. remember? So I have. People yeah. in a certain. I was asking if anyone's in my radius. Yeah, I think. Um, uh, I think you're by both me and uh, Lee, right? Because we're all by bar drinking water. Yeah, I think you guys are all together. I'll put you guys together. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> so Ashley makes it. All you guys made it except Thyros. I need you. Thyros. <laughs> Okay. All of us just are non plus at this yeah. performance. <laughs> okay, so do not care. So all the people dressed in black and are like going on to this like they're crying at this music. They're like, This is the best music I've ever had. This is amazing. I can't believe it. And this music is pl playing, you're like, what the heck is going on here? Like, I, it doesn't seem very sad to me. And the orb on the bottom of his guitar is just radiating black light all around like a light show. And he quickly rolls the dice again to a one. And the one is the red orb. And the red orb comes out. <laughs> And it sounds a little something like this. All right. And everybody needs to roll a wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah, Jesus Christ, man. Like, dang it, I fail. <laughs> okay. And I am... I'm going to add a plus one. We had a plus... No, I had a plus. So it's ten. Then. It's five. So, so... Standard and Tex are in this mosh pit because the bikers get up and they go, yes, Red Orb, and they run in and they start moshing each Whoa. other. Oh, man. Dyros is just feeling this energy and jumps into the mosh pit. I need you to, everybody's going to roll, uh, I'm going to roll to to hit. Uh, uh, can I? I use stillness of mind to end a charm effect, if this counts as charm. Bring up, what, is it, what does it say? Uh, starting at 7th level, you can use your action to end one effect on yourself that is causing you to be charmed or frightened. Um, you are being charmed, so yes. Yes. So Jay, like, stands Wait. up and looks to uh, go into the crowd and then sits back down. Okay, so I got a 17 against standard. Oh wait, you you didn't. So it'd be tax. 17 hits. Ow. So you're gonna yeah. take 1d6 ah. of damage. Six six points. So this biker just like mosh pits Ow. and he smacks you in the face. A 14. Who rolled second? Ashley. What's your armor class? Well, she got an 18 though. She, All right, she succeeded. So, so yeah, she that succeeded. misses, and then Kev, Thyros will hit. Thyros, and this is for you against you. Yeah. Four. It misses. Okay, and all of you need to Just roll roll to attack as well because you got to attack a stranger. So, uh, a text that Thyros about How to murder. How do you uh, roll to? Just do a straight. Uh, uh, Straight, straight D twenty. Yeah, straight T twenty. Add. I wouldn't use my modifier. dragon arm. Straight Just mountain. curious, would I not mm -hmm. use my dragon arm? You're raging, man. Uh, no, don't you? You won't I'd... use it. You won't use it. Just arm then. So that hits. Roll, roll a one D six plus your strength modifier. 
who oh, can okay. kill people with- Oh, I forgot we can kill people with our punches now. That's a problem. Is it strength? Is that uh, it okay. is a strength mod plus proficiency is what an unarmed strike is. <sighs> so I got a solid two if I hit someone. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. So you punch so Dyros, you punch for <laughs> Tex, nope. Tex slaps him across the face. <laughs> and did Ashley made it. So the music ends. Uh, and people start cheering as the music comes to an end. And he plays another round, man. Are you ready? Four. <laughs> And four. Wait, Tex would like to plug his ears when he starts to play uh, okay. a second time. It's the blue orb, and here it goes. The blue orb. Okay, I need another wisdom saving throw. 15 or higher. Come on, man. Tex this... said he was plugging his ears. Is that affected at nope, all? Nope. Get advantage on it? Nope. Nope. Uh, oh, come on. 25. That's a 20. Yep, 20. Ashley gets a 16 because she's by... Okay. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Have an 18. You guys are all made it. So you, now everybody is... You see all these people just dancing seductively with, like, strange people. <laughs> and... Okay. And the music... this guy all about? I know. The orb is <laughs> spraying this blue light show. And then comes another song it is the yellow orb gonna close my eyes when he ends we're all we're really gonna piss ourselves at how good this one is the yellow i need another wisdom oh save God, another throw. wisdom save jesus man 16. oh i make it cool 18 oh, I make makes it. it ashley makes damn, it damn you guys are doing good. <laughs> i'm everyone, everyone okay. makes it Man, this guy's messing with our minds, and we're just staring People at him like, is are this really all he freaking out. They're like, oh I mean, I God. slapped Thyros, but that's about all that happened. Somebody's <laughs> like, this fork! Wait, this did you fork. even deal, did you even hit me? Like, actually? I have no, no idea. I don't he know who rolled I a natural, He rolled a natural one. So. Oh, so he just, you slapped me and you went, ow, my hand. Yeah, okay. I hurt his hand. And this orb comes like shining yellow and people are like freaking out oh my god you're like what is going on here people are having a blast people who made the saving throw or are, are, are not affected are just laughing at these people having a good time drinking it up um enjoying the show and then it changes to the green oil. i love the idea that during all of this there are Four like people just looking at this at the bar, drinking waters yeah. and just non. <laughs> one guy's drinking whiskey. Don't this. deny that. Yeah, one guy is drinking whiskey. Another wisdom saving throw, fifteen or higher. When you don't want to lose the, when you want to lose it, you know the norm. Yeah, when we want to lose oh. these, hey! and then we all do. <laughs> Look at you. So yeah, all of you start becoming happy and start hugging. Like the stranger near you, just oh, like you oh, heal. Man, uh, and you heal up four hit points. Everybody just like heals up, feels super good. The like, Lee, goes, I know I just met you, but I love you. <laughs> it's got to be a stranger. It's total. <laughs> it's got to be a stranger. Uh, He's right. basically <laughs> a stranger to me. <laughs> so which one of us idiots is going up and hugging glitter orb? <laughs> <laughs> if you want, not text. But no. Okay. Uh, Jay, Jay will no, okay. use uh, Stillness of Mind again, and like he <laughs> okay. looks as if to go up to, stands up, and then sits right back down again. Yeah. Okay. And now I mean, it's it's time for the the main event. Out comes this orb, and it starts glitter everywhere. Oh, oh I'm yeah. never gonna get this out. Yeah. Oh it's yeah. It's Glitter Orb. I need you to roll a sa Wisdom Saving Throw. 18 oh, no! Ashley done. <laughs> Tex done. Standard uh, done. I love that Great I have... Wait. <laughs> Wait. 
Wait, I'm adding check. a D four myself. Four. Four. You're good. No, that makes it good because Thyros is nearby. Oh, yeah. 18 or higher. But it's an 18 on this one. Oh, oh it's what? an 18. Uh... So, if you Can fail, I, so much gold you did you have half, on you? Half your gold, and I and you will get half. If you failed, you will get half. Actually, everybody's going to get half gold here. So, give up half your gold, Ashley. I'll... And Tex and Jay, are you going to... Uh... Stillness of mind again. Okay. You stillness of mind and me? I have a lot more gold to lose here. Uh, I'm gonna say, how much gold does Tex have? Because I know Tex. Because shit. I know Tex is our banker, I'm keeping Tex at the bar. He cannot he's, I am, he's going to if you can't if you keep him there, he does the me. last thing. He's gonna throw it up all his half his coins into the air. Uh, yeah, if it, it I'm going to basically, uh, reach, basically be behind him and like do a quick, like, um, just a quick small punch to the back of his, to the small of his back and just try and stun him. Okay. And just keep him from losing all of that money. Roll, roll, roll an attack here. And then um, I think you got to do a con save. Uh, yeah. Uh, a 21. I'm not trying to hurt him. Yep. I'm just trying to hit All him right, in his key point. I need a con save here. What's the what's the con save he needs? Uh, um, let me check right now. I have it under. Also, after this con save, I'm gonna have to go, guys. Yep. No okay. okay. Uh, DC 15 con save. Please lose. Why the hell is this Mario music play? <laughs> is that? Oh wow. Okay, he's stunned. And then I, and then I just take his coin purse off of him. Okay. And everybody receives. Um. So we will go with Tex gets eight gold. Kevin gets a. Thyros gets two. Jay Darn it, now I'm at nine, 101. Nine gold, and Ashley gets three gold. And everybody, there's some gold just flying up into the air and landing on the ground, and everybody's scrambling for gold and having a good time. And the music comes to an end. And Brent, I have a quick question here. Yeah. Uh, so wait, did, so so Jay has my whole coin purse on me, right? Yeah, I basically yeah, just took going to your you. coin purse. Okay, so I only have eight. Uh, add 438 gold to your your gold right now, Jay. Oh, sure, man. I'll just keep it on hand. Honestly, probably the better idea. Hey, don't you dare. <laughs> okay. And that's it. The fans come storming off as Glitter Orb Sweaty from his performance steps off the stage to his enduring fans. I feel like I would enjoy this concert more if I didn't have a hundred gold to lose. That's true. <laughs> I feel Otherwise, like I'd enjoy I would more have if... been one of those fans just going in like, yeah, let's go! Glitter Orb! But, you know. Eh, overall, it's kind of mediocre. It's kind of, yeah. Bro, like, what is this guy's deal? Like, he just almost made us lose a whole bunch of money. Hey, Loser. Bruh. Bro, His music was pretty awesome. good, though. Yeah, it was an awesome concert. Awesome concert. Yeah. Personally, I think I did better. Nothing. <laughs> Text did do better. 